there's a really important function called the step function. Um, what it is, we can, I suppose, go ahead a little bit further here. Um, chapter five is, chapter four is calculus. And I assume everybody's seen something called calculus, right? We'll, we'll study this chapter in tremendous detail. Later on, we'll, teach, learn, teach, we'll done learn you how to do calculus the right way. I think it's in this one, yeah. Anyway, on page 52, I guess it is, in the book, and, and, and again, we'll revisit this thing, I introduced the step function. And there it is, the granddaddy of them all. The step function is zero when its argument is negative, and it's a one when its argument is positive. It's a zero or one. It's basically the light switch function. There it is mathematically for you. Right there, okay? The, the mathematical statement is it's zero when its argument is negative and it's one when its argument is greater than or equal to zero. So we wanna look at that thing and we wanna do that in MATLAB. Now, let me think about this, 11, 15, oh, we have five minutes. Oh, I can do it in five minutes, what the heck? We'll start to program it and then we'll take a look for the look. So we want to open a new, and we want to do this as a function. So um, new function. All right, this 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 template comes up. You, you know, this this is what MATLAB comes up just as you know a guide to put the stuff in. Untitled four. We never. This is going to be called my step, and I'll call it that because probably step is something. Probably you know you know whatever. My step of X, an outcome, since I always call it capital H, it will be H. Now, mm, I'm going to have various versions of these, so I'm going to call it my step one. Save as my step one. Now, step function. Now, the way to do that, I'm going to do it, I plan on doing it for you two ways. One is the old-fashioned way, and the way you'd have to describe it to a human being. Because in English, in English language, you would have to say to a person, Take a t, take something called t, and this function is if t is less than zero, make it a zero, else make it a one. I mean, that's the way you'd say it in English. And doesn't that sound like an awful lot, like a, like a function, like a, a, a flow control command in, in, in computer languages? The if, the else, using those words, and in fact, it does sound very much like that. So you take, an X, and we want to make it T, often, often these step functions are being used in time, so why don't we call the input variable T just to make it look more time-like. What you say is H is if T is less than zero, you want to put a zero, else you want to put it as a one. And I think I can do equals and put that on the end. All 
else along. So if t is less than zero, put it to a zero, else put it to a one. Okay, control save. And copy. Let's go down here, clear the screen. Do this. Let's try my step one of minus two. Mm. I didn't, I, I can't do it this way. I think. And if. Okay. If that else, and I'd like to put that in a different line. Let's try it again. Okay. All right. Got to get into a different mode here. Okay. So it won't work that way. I wanted it to work that way. It won't. What you have to do is say if time is less than zero, put h equal to zero. Else put h equal to one. I was just using MATLAB Mathematica the hour before this, and I could do it that way. I wanted to do it that way. I hadn't completely changed modes. So this is, this is the structure that you have to work. Notice I made some errors here because it wouldn't accept it that way. You have to do if time, this is gonna pretty much work. Well, let's make sure this works. There you go, time equals zero. So now it comes up to be zero. Let's just try this thing one more time with a positive number in there, 55, and it comes out to be a one. So what you have to do is say, the, this, is this the following logic? How to, how to make the step function out of the time? If like you say it in English, if the time is less than zero, I will assign that thing to the number zero. Else, which means greater than or equal to zero, I'll set it to a one. And I call this step function one because I have number, I have a second way, I have some other, lots of other things to say about it. I have a second way that is vectorized. Notice that this is not vectorized. And also you're in trouble on this one if time is a bunch of numbers. So this is, um, my step one is not the way you're going to be doing it. It's very archaic uh, in several ways. So anyway, we'll end right there. And because uh, we're, I've got a lot more to say about the step function, partly because the step function is so important in itself, but also the programming and the subtleties and programming are, are a lot. There's a lot of lessons to learn by using my favorite function, the step function. Okay, so we'll end right there. We'll hang on to the internet, hang on to the Zoom thing if anybody has any questions.